EA Sports FIFA 20 sponsors Saturday Social. First of all, I, I never thought I, I was going to be a star, like, and I don't think I'm a star. Too modest, this guy is very modest. Premier League player. Yes, but no, when you see strikers who score like 30 goals every season, they are the proper stars. <laughs> Football has always been a big part of my life. Uh, I've always been playing football uh, since I you know how to walk. Really? That young? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I always had a, a ball in my feet. Uh, my dad was uh, a good footballer as well. Yeah. I didn't make it as a pro, but he played at a decent level. Uh, and I don't know, I always had this uh, love for the football. You talked about your dad there. How big of an influence was he on you growing up wanting to be a footballer? He never, he never really pushed me to be a footballer. He wanted me to, to go to school and work out at school. I, I was just playing for fun. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I was all right, I was good. You must have been better than anybody bad. else. Yeah, not bad. You you know, how good were you as a kid? I mean, compared to other kids in your school? Head and shoulders above everyone? I, I don't know, but I guess so. But I, I was actually good. But honestly, I realised that I could be a footballer when I was 14 or 15. Were you always a striker? Always played uh, yes. a striker? Yes, I've always been scoring goals. I don't know. That's the the thing I love the most in, in football, like that feeling when you yeah. see the ball going into the net. Love that, Jack. It's the best position to play. Yeah. When, when you're a little kid, were you scoring sort of like 50, 60 goals every single season in your youth teams? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 but, very modest. No, very modest. 70, if anything. No, 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 but, uh, but I was playing in, in Nice. Uh, it yeah, was a yeah. professional team, so we had a really good young team. Uh, and I, and, I, and I, was, I was good, and we were playing team sometimes not that good. And yeah, I remember one game we won like 21 nil, and wow. I've scored nine goals. But you know, when you when you're like that, uh, that makes really a lot of difference when you when you're good. Every day when I was coming back from school, I was playing literally in front of my, uh, my parents' house. Which is on the pavement? Really? Yeah, exactly. Really? Uh, yeah, we were just kicking the ball and like between between two cars, make a, making a goal and trying trying to score and we were actually breaking some windows. Yeah, so the cars yeah. are the goalposts, are they? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh, and you know the car garage as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was the goal. So, yeah, we used to, to break a lot of windows. And <laughs> you know, when uh, it, as well, when we miss kick the ball, sometimes the ball went into the neighbours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had we had to go there, but they were fuming. So sometimes <laughs> we did, so yeah, no, to, to, we didn't ring. So, you know, we jumped over the, the gate. Sneaking yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, but I think all, all those, all the kids have been doing that and it's not it's nothing bad. We were just playing with the ball and yeah, we've been enjoying that. When I started to watch football I was like maybe 13, 14 and I was actually watching the, the Premier League a lot and I don't know one day I, I I was watching a game and I saw that striker like Carlos Tevez. Tevez, Tevez yeah, Tevez, yeah. Really? yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't know why, but I like I, I I saw him playing, I was like, oh I wanna be like him, yeah. he's so good. I was literally in love with the way he was playing, the way he was fighting on the pitch and the way he was scoring goals. But I was watching Aguero as well. His mentality and his desire to win uh, was just crazy. It was a good, like, it was good money. And I was only 16. Wow. Yeah. But I signed. Then a month after that, when I, when I got paid, I, I went on my account, I was like, wow. <laughs> Is that my account? Yeah, yeah exactly. What's the first thing you bought? Uh, I think it was a pair of trainers, like, Really expensive. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are lucky and we earn uh, a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but when you're young, you need people to help you to uh, to don't waste your money yeah. and save it for for your life because a career is really short, isn't it? Have you still got those pair of trainers that you bought now? No, you, no, no. You don't. No. You don't look at them and go, no, "That's the first no, thing I bought no, no, as no, a no. pro." No, no, no. You no. got a better pair of trainers. Yeah. Now. <laughs> no, no. no, no, I don't pay. Get them for free. Get them for free. No, exactly. <laughs> At 16, uh, and after uh, like uh, t literally two months before the end of the season, um, as my first season as a professional football, uh, I've done my ACL. Yeah, oh, seriously. Uh, yes, that. when you're that young, it's so hard to, like to be on the sideline uh, to get surgery. I never had surgery before, yeah. so it was it was really hard. And uh, like when I came back uh, for like two months, I was I wasn't with the team. I was you know in the center with only physios yeah. working every day. So at one point, I was like. Am I still a professional footballer? Because I wasn't involved in the team. I wasn't talking to the manager. You don't know if how you will come back. Yeah. Uh, will my knee will still be sore? Yeah. Uh, 
Will I be able to play football again? Like all those questions, it's not that easy to deal with. And then obviously you came back and you started smashing it. At what stage did you think I could be a real star in this sport? First of all, I, I never thought like, I was going to be a star. Like, and I don't think I'm a star. Too modest. This guy's very modest. Very modest. Premier League player. Yes, but no. Nah, when you see strikers who score like 30 goals every season, they are the proper stars. I came on like 89th minute of the game and literally 90 minutes plus one, like literally my first, my first touch yeah. uh, was my first goal. Wow. So last minute winner for me was amazing. I was um, uh, over the moon. Yeah. And I remember like I came, I came back home with my, my mom, yeah. uh, obviously because couldn't drive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and like I couldn't sleep. It was amazing. Like, I was watching the replay back and back. I was going on my phone, uh, then going back to the replay. And then I was like, oh, you need to sleep. You've got school tomorrow. <laughs> And obviously you moved from Nice to Saint-Étienne. Yes. What was it like moving? How did you cope with that? Did you take your family with you? Actually, my girlfriend uh, uh, came with me. She's still with me now, so... Oh, well, <laughs> well, well done, well done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel very lucky as well, because yeah. I was 19. Uh, it was actually the first time uh, when I moved uh, from another city, because I grew up in Nice. And when you're 19, you think uh, you're just moving club to club, but it's not that easy. I had to find a flat, I had to uh, buy another car, because uh, in San Etienne it's raining, uh, it's snowing a lot. Oh, really? Oh, really? It is. Uh, and you had a soft had top a couple, in Nice, yeah, just yeah, driving yeah, around, exactly. easy. Two feet up. Yeah, exactly, so, so I had to change the uh, car. When I signed from Brentford, I was uh, 21. Right. So obviously you're a bit more mature and yeah. you, you've got a bit more experience, even if you're still young. Still young though, isn't it? 21, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but I think the other part uh, when I signed in England, it was uh, the language. Because you speak so well now. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, I tried. But I, when I first came, my English was really poor. I had a school level, but uh, I realized when I came here, I was like, you don't speak English at all. Right. Uh, so it was the main thing because like first month and you're coming uh, at the training run and you can't, you can't speak with anyone. Yeah. And like you, you don't, you don't realize how important it is to speak with. Communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Communicate, exactly. So when I realized that I was like, you need to learn English really quick because if you, if you come here every day and talk to anyone, you, you won't be happy and you won't play well. So how did you do that? Did you go to night classes or did somebody at Brentford help you learn English? I, I didn't take any English lessons. Uh, really? You just, yeah. picked it up. just picked it up? So what I did, I was just sitting at the table with, uh, with my teammates and I was just listening to them. I was, uh, like first moment, I wasn't talking, I was just... Really? Just yeah, listening? Yeah, just listening and I was going on my phone like uh, to translate. <laughs> And then after a month, I was trying to do two or three sentences. Yeah, right, mate. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it came, it came like that. When I was doing some nap as well, I was going like on YouTube, people talking English and I was sleeping. And I don't know. I was, <laughs> what yeah. in your dreams? What are you thinking? Yeah, exactly. Sunk in. I don't know. Um, it just came like that. When I was in France, I was uh, watching Premier League. I was like, this league is crazy, only yeah. big teams. Is that the one league you watch more than any other league? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I don't, uh, actually, I don't watch a lot of football, but when I, what I do, I watch Premier League. Premier League. When I, uh, I've done my season last year, I was like, if I, if I have the chance to sign in a Premier League and to go and play in a Premier League, that always been my dream. My whole family were proud. Uh, I was proud as well, I was yeah, so I happy. Just yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I was so happy, I was literally buzzing. Could be a bit weird, but I don't have a, a lot of dreams. Um, I, feel, I feel really lucky like, to, to, to play football every day and and live uh, with what I love the most yeah. in, uh, in my life. I don't know, I just feel, feel good in, in my life, in my football, yeah. so I, I just live day to day, day. You're now in the Premier League, playing on the best pitches in the world. How much do you think street football affected you all the way through your career? When I was a kid, like, you don't think about it. You just play football for hours, and I like, trying to uh, uh, kick the ball into the net and then it becomes just habit and I think you improve your game. When I think about it, yeah. it was a really fun time. A good player, a clever player uh, with, a f with a football brain is a good guy who has been helping uh, other players as well already. His work without the, off the ball is, is amazing. Yeah, he's a very hard worker, isn't he, for, he the, for is, the team? Yeah. yeah, he is, he is, and helps a lot to the rest of the players you know, like to, to be better. He's got the potential, you know, like to, to keep growing and growing, you know, but I think he has to focus just 
in the day by day, you know, try to improve every single day. And I think it's been great, and it's, it's, the ceiling is up there. Neil, thank you very much for your time, mate. Thank We're going in the you. warm now. Yes. Warm and that was, of course, Making It Pro with Neil Mopay. Thanks to EA Sports FIFA 20.